Hello and welcome to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're looking at the Craftbot Flow. But first, roll those credits. Welcome back. So, we're looking at the Craftbot IDEX Flow. Um, so as you can see, this is a it's an IDEX um, dual extruder, which means that it has two independent extruders on it. Um, this is a beast of a machine. So it prints at 425 by 250 by 250. Um, it's got a magnetic build plate, it's got a built-in webcam, it's got um, its own cloud computing software so you can print remotely, you don't have to use the, uh, you don't have to use the SD card. And the prints that come out of this are absolutely gorgeous. So this is a rainbow filament that, uh, that Filer Prints stocks and it does an absolutely beautiful job of printing this. Um, the machine itself uh, has a, uh, the hot end will go up to, I think, 285, uh, yeah, the hot end goes up to 285, the bed goes up to 110, um, you can get an extra um, plate that will go across the front and you can get a cap that goes over the top so that you can print ABS and things like that. Um, because it's got that huge 425 left to right, or X uh, axis, sorry. Um, it means that if you wanted to do, say, the, um, the mirror printing feature, you've actually still got a relatively decent amount of build volume either side to print those two models at the same time. Um, it's got auto bed levelling and it does a really, really good job of that. It has also got um, these, little white these little white pieces, they're little pieces of silicone that sit either side, so that if you were doing a dual colour individual print then when the left or the right extruder homes for the other extruder to come along it actually wipes the filament off of the nozzle so that you're always getting clean prints um, it does mean you get a little bit of detritus down the base and it would have been nice if they'd have put little purge buckets in here or something so that you could um, so that you always got a clean nozzle and everything else sort of left there is sort of a little um, there is a little bracket here so I would challenge that if you wanted to you could, um, you could print a little purge bucket that would sit there just to catch the filament. Um, both nozzles have, um, oh sorry, one nozzle on the left has got the, uh, has got the BL touch on it and that's what it does to level the whole bed. It does all that through a guided process through the touch screen. Touch screen is huge, nice and easy to do, but you can also use the Wi-Fi feature to do remote monitoring as well. Um, filament sensors on the back, um, it's a machine that really does do everything you need it to. So the price on a machine like this is 3380 um, which is bleeding right into Raise 3D and, um, and Ultimaker money at that point. The ultimate reality is the only reason you'd be buying this machine is if you needed that extra print volume over, say, an Ultimaker 3 or something like that. Um, it's not really, um, it's not bringing anything passionately different to the market, but it is doing it time and time again, repeatability. That is what is key for weight. That's what you're paying for with these machines. You're paying for less maintenance, less, less downtime, more just being able to put on a print and off you go and doing what you need to do. Um, is it worth like, Three Prusa Minis, uh, sorry, three Prusa Mark III S's. That's academic. It's 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 worth that to you if you if if the features that it has have value to your business. I don't think your average, um, you know, I don't think your average hobbyist or enthusiast is buying this type of machine. Um, it's just well, it's it's just outside of of. of what normal hobbyists use um, with regards to price. Um, but it is a great machine, and if you're running a business, it is super clean. It is one of the daily runners at 3D Filer Print alongside their gents, and uh, and they use a flat, they use a couple of flash forges as well. Um, and 
as we've said before, it is one of those machines that just time and time again churns out prints. You can put you can put one on. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to sit and watch it. You don't have to watch the first layer even with these. They just on they go and and they're away and they're, and you just have to come back when it's done and take it off. So a really good machine, maybe just a little bit outside of a regular enthusiast budget. Other than that, absolutely brilliant. Thanks for joining us.